This is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. That's an 18 by 24 inch canvas. This is some failed gold cell activator that had Australian Floetrol in it. And I'm just going to be using up stuff that I've got hanging around. I want to do an abstract Expressionist piece. So I'm just going to add whatever I want and spread it around in the center. This is Tiger Lily. This is a great color. I don't know why I don't use it more often. It's mixed with Vivid Enamel, but it could just as easily be mixed with Vivid Polypore as far as I'm concerned. That's pretty much my MO. I will mix them up and they will get mixed. This is Tuscan Sun. It's nice that it's open because I didn't check the bottle first. And that is a gorgeous color. This is Sour Lemon with a little bit of Orange Crush in it. I have some Artist Loft white paint that is the scrapings out of the bottom of a container that I mixed out of. And I'm willing to risk whatever happens when I mix them up. But I am going to put a lid over that just so I have a chance to come back to it. And I just had a spatula in my hand. Ha! Magically delicious, magically disappeared. Okay, so what else have I got? I've got sour lemon. I don't know if I can get that to come out of the bottom or not. I should have just taken the top right off of that. That could have been stirred up with a chopstick a lot better than it was, and it don't, I don't really care. And I'm going to use some more of this Indian Spice, which is, I think, from the looks of it, what I put in that Floetrol, the Australian Floetrol, trying to make it work. And no matter what I do to start, it's not going to be anything like this when I finished. I've been watching other artists doing it in caustic, which is basically a beeswax base, as far as I can tell. And the beginning painting and the end painting have zero to do with each other, basically. But this is where I wanted to start. And I like that. I like the stripe, the streaks from the white. If I go too far overboard, I'll be sorry. It looks like I've got stuff in here, which means it's time to use my tweezers that are on my Amazon link. I like the sharp ones, not the ones with the curve. The ones with the curve, you can't use both sides of them. But the sharp ones, you can shove right in the top of a bottle. It's a very wet day and it's been very wet for a couple of days and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. So that might help keep my paint a little wet a little longer. I might as well just spread it as far as I can spread it. I'm not looking for any texture yet. I do use GAC 800 by Golden. If I wanted to leave my paint heavy, I could, but I don't really want to at this point. I'm just looking for an even layer of... What's the word? Patinated? I want a sort of a pattern in the background. I was going to go around the edges with black, but that's probably coming, and I'm probably going to let this dry in between sessions. That does not belong. Generally, I do like texture and things, but we're using a fluid acrylic mix, so we don't really want lumps in it. I did a painting recently where I had a lot of texture, and I think that's okay. So long as I had it, it was a plan. All right, so 
My paint is still spreading nicely and I'm still finding stuff in it. Albeit not as much stuff as there could be in it, considering how old some of the bottles are. When, when my bottles sit for a while, that's really when I want to grab a wooden chopstick with a fairly thick end. I love how far the paint is going. I'm wondering if maybe it was that white in there that helped motivate things to move around. And I've got some more of that too, so I might add some. I think also the Australian flow troll was pretty thin, and that probably helped a lot. I'm loving the fact that I've got that um, Indian spice in there. And I didn't expect to do a yellow, a completely yellow painting, but you know, go with the flow. So these spatulas are OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatulas. The cool thing about them is they carry a blade of paint. I'll show you, like so. So I can wipe that right off on the edge, motivate it along, and we can actually finish filling in the whole canvas. Which, in theory, really, I could leave right now and come back in a second and have it be dry and tomorrow. But I might want to play instead of that. I've got such a nice looking even flow. It looks like a, a yellow sky landscape to me right now, which is pretty cool. And I really had no idea that I put out just exactly the right amount of paint to do this. And I am just enjoying gliding my spatula across. Now if there was Floetrol in your mixes and you were just using Vivid Intense colors, that would be fine because you wouldn't dull the, shim the shimmer. But there's no Floetrol, so I really am trying to get a nice even coat. But since I seem to have playtime, which is unusual because of the high humidity, I might just go ahead and grab some colors like I want some jasmine and some orange crush. Oh, I lost my My sour lemon patch that had the orange crush in it. So maybe I'll just put that back again. And I'm really loving the way the jasmine looks in there. So I could leave that alone and be pretty happy and just continue on doing what I'm doing. I just hit my painting though. I'd really like to just add some blue, but if I wait, it won't turn green. Anytime I want some other color, I can just knock it off. Oh, that went down to canvas too far. So maybe a little more Tuscan sun right there. And shiny taffeta too. Both the colors will be listed under the video and when you go to color art, I'm a color art affiliate. When you go to color art on the website, now you can put in a color and see all the colors in Prism Pores or, or Primary Elements or Vivid Intense and uh, see everything available which is a nice perk. It's a new feature and I'm really happy they did that. Something I've been wanting for a long time. Because sometimes you'll search a color and you won't, it'll say it doesn't exist and you know it does. Take that out of there.
Well, I'm having too much fun to stop, and if I want to change my mind tomorrow and do something completely different on this canvas, that's fine. But in the meantime, I like what I've got. I'm going to clean my spatula off on this edge. Wipe it across. I was just thinking of adding some more sour lemon. And I'm also thinking of something kind of strange, which is some Love You Pink, just to put, let's open that all the way, and then take that lump out. <laughs> I saw it go in. I want a little bit of saffron. I can't help myself. A little will go a long way. Except for now I've got another, maybe it's the same one I didn't get the last time. I forget sometimes that you can stick the spatula in and sort of make a resist. You can remove paint. I kind of like what I just did and I think I'm going to fill it in with some shiny taffeta rather than go back and get again. I've got other spatulas and maybe now is the time to use one. Because I liked what I had and I don't want to change it as much as it changed. All right. I'm thinking I've got some plum blossom, which is a primary element. A little shake. I am going to knock all this color off right down here. I want more. I saw the reflection in somebody's on TV last night in somebody's swim goggles. And it was compelling to me to remember the color combination. And part of those colors were orange and red. No matter what else, these colors will dry beautifully, even with that little bit of white. And there wasn't that much. I think I want some more of that right down here. No, I definitely like that. Maybe I can use one spatula to take off paint from one <coughs> and transfer it to another. Let's go with the Love You Pink again. That was the Plum Blossom again. I like these two together. It just gives me the impression of some kind of landscape and a mirage and I've just seen my paint get removed by a stroke so I'm going to have to be careful starting soon. I'm wondering if I can use a little bit of white. I am loving this. I'm having such a good time I can't tell you. I want all of that though.
it's time to leave that side alone. But I'm not done with the top half yet. And I'm going to continue using the saffron with the other with the orange crush. And hopefully I can continue to get away with that's the sour lemon that has a little orange crush in it. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to throw some of that palm blossom right in front because I think it'll just All right, I've got more time, and I'm I'm not planning on being done, but I might be. You cannot tell. At this stage of the game, The amount of paint you leave behind is all about the stroke you make across. I really still want to try the blue. I think I'll probably be back, so this might be longer than 20 minutes. I'll touch up my edges later with similar colors. Oh, I just dragged. kind of feel like I need to put some more paint down there right now. To keep it moist. I'm trying to be conscious and aware of what's on my spatula blade as I go. I'm kind of liking everything that's happening. It seems just totally gorgeous to me. I'm going to give myself a little more jasmine and maybe mix it with some of that Indian spice gold. Well, my window of opportunity still exists. Well, I don't know. I could leave this and be happy. Not what I just did, though. I think this is a stage I have to stop at and decide to let it dry, or I will not be happy with what's happening with the drying paint. I really want some white in here with some blue. I want to use up the paint on my spatula too, which might be a dangerous desire. I got one minute left before my camera shuts off. I don't think I'm going on. I'm going to take my drips over the edge and probably try and cut. Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Fortunately, it's where I just put some fresh paint. I see a spot. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check the color coupon code for 20% off. Pixel Paint Designs is 10% off, and Pixel Paint Designs will get you Australian Floetrol. Boom Gel and uh, Pebio Paints. I don't think I have time to shimmer, but if I did, I would be sad because I don't think I brought my phone into the studio. You guys, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Well, I'm back, and this has been sitting in my studio quite a while now, and it's very dry. 
and I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something. And I'm going to use some Amsterdam black that has Floetrol and GAC 800 in it. And I'm also going to use some Chantilly lace. I'm waiting for some more to come in the mail. I'm going to use a large spatula. I'm going to put a bunch of colors on top of that black. Mayan gold. Probably won't show. But adding paint to my, to my swipe won't hurt anything, I'm pretty sure. This is Wild Orchid. Colors will be listed under the video, as I may have mentioned. This is Deep Amethyst. Looks like it needs the top tip cleaned out. This is saffron. This is a little sour lemon with some orange crush in it. And I've got some Rhapsody Rose, which is a primary element. The rest are mostly prism pores. What else do I have? I have jasmine. Hard to go anywhere without jasmine for me. I don't know what's going to show up. I imagine we're going to get some cells. Some peacock cells, hopefully. And a little bit more of this sour lemon because I can sort of thing. That's the name of my first book in the Amazon link. It's on the link tree underneath Show More. I'm kind of feeling like it would be a good idea to use an edge catcher just to move those things. And I don't want any of these bottles here when I'm trying to tip this if I'm going to do that. Let's put that gold over here if I can keep my head out of the picture. Just go the way that it wants to go anyway. I, I kind of want to keep it just the way it is and spread it out. I see that there's something in there that does not belong. And it's got to go. Is that a bubble next to it? I wanted to go back. Alright, I hope the um, swipe is half as pretty. I want some more Chantilly lace. It's just the way it is. I don't know if that's going to allow other colors to come back up through. And I see I've got another little thing that just dropped off the bottle or my hand or whatever. I was going to use my shorter spatula, but I think I'm going to use the long one just because I need this on the right hand side. Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam Black. And I know there's an, usually enough colors left to go back and fill in something, which is I'm gonna, what I'm going to try. I 
and I think I'm going to stretch that right out in a second. Because I can. I want to put a little more black in there. So I have something to stretch it to. Paint will plow to paint. I always used to say that. I don't say it so much anymore, but it's still true. We'll see if I'm right. Looks like I could be right. This is my theory. It doesn't matter as long as the colors are awesome. Let's put some more black in there. I want to use maiden black because it's thinner. Tip it back so it integrates some before I tip it forward again. Being subjective, forward, back. I like the plane areas as much as I like the cells. I say that, but you can't. It's a process. <laughs> it's a slow process. Makes me wonder if I want to do something over here with some more Chantilly lace. It's definitely taking its time. I don't have the kind of patience this is requiring. But they're cool patterns. And I like the idea of stretching it out. I also like the idea of getting that thing under there that I see that I want to go. How about a little more saffron right there? Yes, I am. I'm helping it all come down. This is looking a little muddy. It had drips. Perfectly useful paint dripping right off. So that makes me want to go from, wipe up my mess, from the other side up here. This is huge. This is not what I was intending, but you know what? It's, I'm still having fun. And I got to remember if I add enough of the black paint, then it will flow where I want it to go which is not just up, but back. I'm going to keep right at this. Chantilly lace. I kind of feel like putting it at the top and the bottom. Wild orchid.
Jasmine. I thought it would do different colors, but I kind of like the idea of similar colors. Saffron. Sour lemon with... I do like this combination a lot. Sour lemon with orange crushing it. I've got another bottle. They're both fairly, getting fairly empty though. I think it's because there's a marble. Okay, whatever was in there isn't in there anymore. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so what have I got? I've got Periwinkle, which is a vivid, intense fluorescent. Which is the same problem all over again. I need to make up some more. And I'm thinking just go for it. I want to tip it down, but I think that if I wait and don't tip it down, that my opportunity will be to tip it down after I swipe. That's a lot of cells. So I think what I'm going to do is rinse that off right now. Have those set up for a minute. And cross my fingers. Give some saffron. More jasmine. Some more wild orchid. Which I'm not actually squeezing on anymore. I was just trying to dribble the, the line out. Alright, so here goes nothing. Maybe nothing includes an edge catcher. If I can lay my hands on one quickly. And I've got something to use. I'm loving these cells. I'm hoping that this is stretched out enough so that I can do what I intend on doing. It looks like it's going to work. I'm going to be kind of sad to, leave, to lose some of that black. Or more likely all of it. I like the background. It's all about the cells in this case. Well, the shapes are kind of cool too. I've never tried to move cells and save them, but I'm going to try it right now. I 
I like I used slightly different enough colors. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to take my time and figure out what comes next. I think some more some more swiping and maybe getting my hands clean. All right, that's my three minute warning. I'm kind of bubble. It looks very surreal to me, which is totally okay. I'm gonna steal some of the paint right off my edge catcher and use it on the edge. Because it's so similar to the first stripe I have to call it a stripe for lack of a better word. And the same with this other side. Although I do kind of want to tip that a little bit. like I'm going to lose something I, I like. So obviously there's going to be another stage to this. Which in essence means I'll be right back. I could shimmer it at you. I kind of want to take whatever I've got on this card fill in this corner. happier. Kind of thinking I might want that same option. Right here. Yep, I like that. All right, I'm not sure what's coming next, but it might be black and white. I'm thinking right there. And I might have enough time to do it, too. So. I could do black and white in two more spots at least, I believe. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And I only have ten minutes before I'm going to be called to dinner, so that's what we're going to give it my best shot. And I'm going to use the Chantilly Lace. And I'm going to try and use it without any base, which might be nuts. Maybe more. <laughs> more to be on the safe side. Maybe I really shouldn't take that risk. I do get a beautiful silvery finish. I'm going to use the medium sized spatula. I got a set of these. Pretty sure they're on my Amazon link. Not 100%, but it's worth checking. I see something in there. 
best to get them out before you have to swipe. I want to tip that. I want to bring this down here. All right, hopefully I have enough room to do this. That was pretty cool. I think I got mostly, mostly what I wanted out of that. If I want to do more, I'm going to have to come back for it. I'm running into my back wall. So I'm going to throw that in the bucket. Hope I don't need it. Still a little paint. Try and use my edge catcher again, or in this case, it's just a paint catcher. I want to make sure I have nothing on my thumb. you can see all that. Hopefully I can get it to go where I want it to go too. It used to be difficult for me to conceptualize making the paint, making the prism pour paint the way I have mixed it in the past go the distance to stretch out, but it seemed to be getting luckier and luckier or practicing it more and more as working. Now I've got a fair amount of paint and I'm planning on tipping it back so it goes up the other way. I might want to tip it over first. And I see I've got a little spot that I really shouldn't have stuck my finger in. Now I'm going to need to clean that up. And hopefully I can get to it in time. Come on, you can do it. Oh, I lost a bunch of paint on my edge catcher, which is really actually okay because that means I can salvage it. I might not have to fix that spot if I can cover it. And I've got enough paint on my edge catcher to cover my edge. It looks like formations in some sort of desert environment to me. Of course paint was still running even though I thought I was done moving it. Just going to use whatever I've got handy. And tell you guys, I'll see you in a minute because I don't have enough time to do the last stage at this exact moment, but I'll be right back. I want to do a little something over here maybe or maybe something maybe a partial in the distance 
basically all I need now is to cover this edge. If I can get some cells to stay on my palette knife, I'm not going to mind doing that either. And I'd like some black right there. Preferably without any other color in it. I kind of like them joined. They look more and more like rock formations. I've got more paint. To do exactly what I just said. I'm liking a lot. So it's funky rock formations with a sunset in the background. That's what it seems like to me. It can be whatever you imagine it to be. And I'm sure that if I need more paint to cover my edges, if I do at least one more piece to fill in, I'll have that paint. And it'll be drying between now and then, because I can't stay now. Do I have enough? I've got more paint on my card. I've got more paint dripping off, too. Oh, and I've got some cells, also. Where do I want them, though? I don't... I was about to say, I don't want them there. Oh, I can't believe I got away with that. I just scooped them up. We'll pretend there's nothing, nothing bad there. Well, there's some amazing cells. Sunset Canyon at it's like the Antelope Canyon, to a degree, I think. I need to stop fussing, though. Who knows? I might, I might be done. <laughs> in which case, I probably told you everything before. But in case I am done, you should look under the video for the 20% off color art coupon code. And there's a 10% off pixel paint designs coupon code. That'll get you Australian Floatrol and Boom Gel, Pebio paints. Just fixing my edges a little bit. Looking for places to put paint. And there's my cue, except for that. I will see you guys anon. Please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos if you like what I do. Leave me a comment. Ask me questions. Questions are welcome. I'm forgetting everything. Everything is on the link tree underneath show more underneath the video. I'm really liking those as uh, imagined rock pilings. I don't know if I have any time or if you're even still here, but if you are, I'm going to take a second to shimmer that at you if I can get the app up on my phone. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like it. And I love you guys. I hope you come again. Uh, thank you for the kind words in the comments to keep my morale boosted. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link. It's on the link tree. My two books are there because they can and unlimited possibilities. Thank you for the memberships. For those of you who joined, there's over 200 videos in the memberships library. I want to pick that up and move it back. There we go. Anyway, those are really cool. 
really, really. I like them way more than I expected to. And uh, anything I need to fix, I will fix the next time, if there is a next time. My email address is EASPB in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I do sell my artwork. My paint pouring recipes are underneath show more in the description. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And you can have pretty much anything that you see me make on YouTube into uh, some sort of product, clothing, you name it. Yeah, I see things. And then I need to fix them. But those are kind of cool. Alright, I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget the thumbs up. And uh, when you watch longer and share my videos, you help me out. So thank you very much for being here. And I will see you anon. Whatever I forgot, and you'll see in another video. Priscilla. Hello. So this is the dry canvas. And I went back after digitally altering it. And I filled in these little holes. And I put a little more black at the bottom. And I think there's some over on this edge because I put a fingerprint over there. And uh, I wanted to share with you, if you ever find any of these little plastic containers with the silicone lids, Kitchen Essentials from Calipon. Anyway, so if you don't let the paint that you put in there go all the way to the outside edge, which is not that easy, if you don't let it be heavy enough to make a ridge and have to cut it off with scissors, which I've done many times, you might be lucky enough to get what I got there, which gave me a really good idea of what I wanted, but then it got touched and there's little black specks on the back and I'm really nervous that they're going to show through if I add, if I adhere them. So I was going to try some Just New Gloss Varnish and I did have this Zanch little, it's a felt covered uh, window tint applique that I'm going to use for the rest of them for dots, maybe not that one so much. Anyway, so what I'm going to do instead of that, to finish this up, I've shaken it up. I have a combination of saffron and Mayan gold, which is kind of light. And I think it's very similar to that other color, but I'm not sure which one was which. But I think a combination of this bonfire, all of that's prison pour. I think it'd be cool. I hope I'm right. I hope I can do this. If I can't, I can always wipe it off because it's a dry canvas. That's the trick. I meant to turn my studio light on. Come on, pop. All you can see is my head right now, but I'm going to keep blowing first down in the center and then around the edge. I'm still not. This is taking way too long. Somebody's going, well, it takes as long as it takes. And that is the truth. I'm really surprised by how heavy that paint is. Around the outside edge. Do 
we need tweezers again. I think I'm just going to torch it after that little lump settles down. All right, <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye finally. It's not as big as the other sun, but I don't think I mind it. And I meant to shimmer the painting at you. It's a little bit dark in here, but I like it. It's very dramatic. So I'll see you guys in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Hopefully we were in focus.